no, 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 it's supposed to be surreal. The Perry Logan show is supposed to be surreal. Satire is often surreal. Your Honor, I'm sorry. The Perry Logan show is often surreal. Surreal. Satire is often surreal. Look at Jonathan Swift. Not to compare myself with Swift, except, you know, I mean, he had stories about horses ruling the world. Horses ruling the world. Harim! Well, that's why it's surreal, but I thought you were going to ask me about my latest show, The Phoenix. <laughs> and, and it is not true. I deny all rumors that I, Perry Logan, have the hots Ew. for the Occupy Wall Street movement. I deny it completely. Gotta go. Not a real cell phone. Cell phones fry your brains. Not a real cell phone. Cell phones fry your brains. Wall Street, October 5th, 2011. The first good news in many years occurs. The young people of America, sick to death of being screwed over by the rich and the bankers, occupy Wall Street. Public service alert. My friends, Perry Logan is very sweet on the Occupy Wall Street movement. If he weren't in reality so very, very small, Perry would be running around hugging the Occupy Wall Street protesters. And not just because they're young and cute. Wall Street, October 6th, 2011. The international movement which is taking the form of Occupy Wall Street has taken the form of a bookcase. Go with us on this, will you? Doesn't look much like Wall Street. <laughs> Wall Street, yeah, right. Gentles, though this not like Wall Street may seem the <laughs> Gentles, gentles. Your patience we do beg. Though this usual bookcase doth not like Wall Street seem. Like Wall Street must thou think it. Otherwise, Perry will do this whole damn show in blank verse, okay? With me on a glorious flight of imagination do come. This is Wall Street. Go with us, okay? Here we go. My liege. My lords and ladies, I give to you the leader of the Occupy Wall Street movement. Here on Wall Street, yeah!
Hello, this is Perry Logan, leader of the Occupy Wall Street movement. Take it. Okay, there are some things that are true and some things are not true, okay? First of all, it is true. This is Wall Street. I'm on Wall Street. Why? Because I, Perry Logan, love the Occupy Wall Street protesters. <laughs> Occupy Wall Street protesters, come here. Come here, you. <laughs> Mm, mm. Oh! <laughs> mm. <laughs> Perhaps it's best that it's all be a fantasy. Hey, I'm having a fantasy. It's October 6, 2011, and something good has happened. Let's hear it for something good having happened. This is the dance of something good having happened. Come on, get up, get up, dance. Something good has happened. Something good has happened, along with some of uh, the usual array of bad things. Check it out. In a way, it, the, the, the timbers of the ship of state rotted under Bush Cheney. As the self-appointed leader of the Occupy Wall Street movement, <laughs> satire. I'm here to just point out that uh, you could argue that the timbers of the ship of state started to rot under Bush Cheney. Now, why do I say that? Because this is uh, an article I read many years ago. Under Bush Cheney, record numbers of career government professionals quit. Under Bush Cheney, the people who keep the government going, basically, from one administration to the next, quit. Why do you think they quit? Was it because Bush Cheney were so darn good? That it shows you, uh, to stop being coy, it shows you just how freaking bad Bush Cheney were. But this is a, an historic fact, perhaps a little spoken of, you know. How did everything get so bad? How did especially our government get to be so untrustworthy? You know? Well, I, I, would, I would propose to you that there was a genuine drop in quality. The, again, the people who really keep it going, you know, they're not political necessarily. They're not, well, they didn't used to be political. There was a time, you know, when our government was thought very highly of. It wasn't even that long ago. All right, but, uh, there, there was just a, a huge wave of corruption, I would say, because as record number of record numbers of government officials who had been keeping the whole government thing going, is what I'm saying, career professionals in government. Well, they were quitting. Some of them, I'm sure, were fired, and they were quitting. And do you suppose Bush Cheney replaced them with the top people? Well, of course not. 
they uh, were replaced by goofy neocons. Uh, goofy neocons and graduates of crackpot religious institutions. Uh, our government was filled, our government went from career professionals who, you know, they knew what they were doing. I honestly think so. Uh, they kept it going. And now a bunch of kind of like wing not crack pat crack pot wing not crack pot ding bat moon bats repeat after me wing not crack pot moon bat ding bats oh the drugs are taking effect this is a little song called wing not crack pot ding bat moon bat wing not crack pot ding bat moon bat wing not crack pot ding bat moon bat Oh, that is so groovy. That is like just sickeningly groovy. And yet you see the bottom line is not funny. Our government went bad. The timbers, as I was saying. I'm a leader of the Wall Street. Uh, I am the leader of the Occupy Wall Street movement. I would thank you to keep it down. And I, I, I appointed myself the leader in my show, first of all, because it's my show. Second of all, because I, Perry Logan, love the Occupy Wall Street movement. I love you guys. Come here! Come here, you! <laughs> Perhaps it's best we're doing it in, in an imaginary way, but damn it, that's my story. This is Wall Street. That's my story! Hey, hi, this is Perry Logan with some good news. We finally got some good news. So I can be, uh, I can be silly about uh, good news instead of being silly about just the, the most terrible nightmare political world we're living in. It's so bad that uh, what we have going is something, oh, I don't know, May I, I hope I'm not being too silly to say that uh, the Occupy Wall Street movement, of which I am the leader. Hey, I, Perry Logan, am the self-appointed leader of the Occupy Wall Street movement. Go with me on this, will you? And that's why we're doing this show right here on Wall Street. All right. The Occupy Wall Street movement, which is quickly expanding to, you know, the name might change. Uh, future people may say, what? Is he talking about what? Uh, they might call it something else, you know. It's that, it's that young. There is a mass protest going on, and as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, love that. As I was saying, what we have going um, is a kind of a nascent general strike. A nascent general strike. Get down. A nascent general strike. You know, Americans don't take to the streets all that easily, especially not when it's Wall Street, where the one percenters live, the people with all the money, whom we bailed out. They seem notably ungrateful for the money we gave them. 
Well, uh, there is this wonderful movement, and I hope it has a great feature. This is the weird thing about doing a political show, because I'm not really Nostradamus. You know, but I regard, okay, the, the thing is I love, mm, I love the, I'm trying to be serious. Hey, hey, people of Wall Street. <gasps> serious here? I, Perry Logan, love, all kidding aside, I love the Occupy Wall Street movement. And it's not just because they're young and cute. Come here. Come here, you Wall Street protesters. <laughs> Do not be afraid. <laughs> okay, just expressing my support. That's, I'm expressing my support. It's like a Perry Logan way of expressing his support of uh, this movement, which may well have another name. That would be a point there. Okay. I did. Did I go? I didn't mean to go. And I don't know what it means when I go. It means Perry's expressing his support of Americans finally hitting the streets, and it's mostly young folks who have been so royally screwed over. Wait, sorry about the tongue thing. I'm sorry about the oral motif of this show. It's surreal. But uh, one of my way of expressing my support for this wonderful uh, grassroots movement is to appoint myself the leader of it. Okay, this is a, a little bit of a joke that the Wall Street, okay, the movement now known somewhat as the Occupy Wall Street, and now it's like Occupy Main Street. Or, well, we wouldn't Occupy Main Street. The thing is, uh, there is a, an overwhelming sense of unfairness right now, which has just reached the boiling point under a Democrat. Well, because one nightmare thing after another is going down under Obama. In a way, uh, Obama has created the hope and change that he failed to create by being president. By being so bad, Obama just essentially uh, mobilized young people. Okay? A little Perry, the, uh, I'm not a political scientist or anything of the sort, <laughs> but I read the whole, uh, the reaction of the young is that that's it. That's we've had it, okay? And I admire this. You see, my generation, uh, they were. It took Vietnam to get our attention, because of course we were economically. It was everything was great, you know, within the limits of, of the day. Uh, we were doing well economically, and uh, but the uh, they were going to send us off to die. They were going to send us off to die, and this got our attention. Now, the youth of today, well, it shows you just how badly we're screwed over. And I hasten to say I know that the Occupy Wall Street, I'm going to call it Occupy Wall Street. Come on, come on. I'm like going to get arrested. Okay? The, the, the Occupy Wall Street people are going to call the police on me. That would be my luck. <laughs> I'm sorry, sometimes I get small. Sometimes I, Perry Logan, get small and I scuttle around Wall Street, Ew. harassing the Wall Street protesters whom I love. It is, in fact, part of an international movement of the people against the financial elite. It's really pretty simple and everybody knows it. Now here's the weird thing that no matter how tiny I become, I realize, you see, this is a class warfare thing. It really is true. Excuse me, the lower classes are finally fighting back against the upper classes. You know it and I know it, the lower classes, well, everybody now is lower class. Yeah. Well, relatively speaking, everybody feels like a 99 percenter. This is another phrase that's going around right now in this wonderful thing. I'll stand back. I'm not going to like uh, improperly approach 
the Wall Street protesters, but you know, you know me, the loving guy. <laughs> I'm a loving guy, and I am so thankful. Just all kidding aside, thank you, young people. So I wanted to seize the opportunity of, ha of just having some, just a spot of good news in the political nightmare we're living in, and say, in all sincerity, thank you to the young who, are, who have started the uh, uh, Occupy Wall Street movement, of which I have appointed myself the leader. Yay! Come on, come on, Wall Street protester. Come here, you. Come here. <laughs> Pulling your leg. Hey, I am much too tiny. I have a tendency to shrink down. Have I mentioned this? Have I mentioned this or... Ah! And once again, Perry Logan shrunk down to a tiny little size. Too small even to operate his own camera, may we note. <laughs> and so, history repeats itself, more or less, as the upper class, they're uh, richer than they've ever been, I think. I think the upper class is like smaller and richer than they've ever been. And they think they deserve all the marbles and the rest of us don't. We're the 99 percenters, we don't think you deserve all the money. Oh, and you know what? Uh, real science backs this up, that uh, uh, income disparity or the, uh, the well, let's put it this way, the, the constipation, constipation of, of wealth, wealth we, we suffer, suffer from. from. It's October 6, 2011, and we somewhat suffer from the pangs of a constipation of wealth. More scientifically, it really is true, I've read, that, you know, sociologically, epidemiologically, check it out. Yay! Uh, it's just bad for the public health. In all seriousness, in all ways, it is bad for the public health to have such gross constipation. Any liberal can tell you, money is like manure. I'm sorry about the fecal references, okay? But we liberals understand, you see. Money is like manure. It ain't no good unless you spread it around. Come on, everybody, we're gonna spread it around. So how, on God's green earth, are we going to get uh, the rich to e pay their fair share of taxes, or, as I prefer, uh, we just break down those, uh, those fortunes, okay? We break them down to a reasonable size. They will be fine. They will be fine. But, I'm sorry, but you see, that kind of amassment, or if you will, constipation of wealth, my friends, bad for the body politic. That's gonna be our justification for crushing the right. You see, my Wall Street protesters, we are, yes, we are the 99 percenters. As soon as we get a leader, he will declare martial law and arrest all Republicans. Oh, and right-wingers. They are a public health hazard. That's the lefty view. And of course, I'm not seriously laying this trip the whole tr Logan trip on the, the, the cute little uh, hot little <laughs> protesters, that Occupy Wall Street protesters. I'm standing back. Who, uh, <laughs> I'm not laying my whole trip on you, but I really do think, you know, bottom line here, the uh, Wall Street protests are basically a left-wing phenomenon. That's why I nominated myself as ruler. Well, I, I elected myself as ruler, huh, okay? The only thing that prevents me is the fact that I... Ah! Oh no! Perry Logan's got small this time. This time, very small. Very, very small. Very, very, very small. And yet even as Perry became almost infinitely small, 
he remained happy and joyful that the phoenix of the Occupy Wall Street movement has risen from the ashes of hope and change. I think that wraps it all up quite eloquently. Well, I guess I'm probably too small to go around Wall Street hugging the Occupy Wall Street protesters and get myself beat up or arrested. But I'm pretty sure these good people are gonna focus on a leader or more. Keep in mind, good people are leaders. Martin Luther King was a leader, I rest my case. And while I Perry Logan, I'm not seriously offering myself to be the leader of a new movement which is sweeping the world. I think we're gonna have to admit sooner or later that it's all about class warfare. The 99 percenters against the top 1% who are pretty much not gonna give their money back without government intervention. I think that would be the bottom line. I hope I, Perry Logan, am not being small, even though I am small. When I say, ultimately, a movement gets nowhere without a real leader, and it's gonna be a leader on the left. That's really all there is to it, my friends. I hope I'm not being small when I say, what we have here is a worldwide Leftist movement. Get down! Uh, what we have here is a, a worldwide leftist movement. I'm just prancing around. Hey, I'm just prancing around. Y'all can leave if you want. Occupy Wall Street protester, come here you, come here. <laughs> Do not resist, Perry loves you. <sighs> yeah.